What's going on guys, SBTV here on the match review of Sunderland nil, Bournemouth 1. It's all finished at the Stadium of Light and Bournemouth egg and really Josh King has sent Sunderland after their 10 year stay in the Premier League down to their championship. The threshold, not very good down there. Sunderland have been appalling all season, but it really did show today. They did actually put a lot of fight into this game and it didn't, it did, they held on to the 88th minute until Bournemouth and Josh King put it into the back of the net past Jordan Pickford to secure the three points and the relegation of Sunderland. But it was such an open game, end-to-end -end stuff. Both teams had really good opportunities to take their side into the lead, but it didn't fall till the late ends of the game for till we took all three points ahead of the game. But looking into things, Josh King fired home a really really basic goal ball coming on the counter attack three defenders as ball is slotted across goal and there's josh king to tap it in and home into the back of the net to make it one goal to nil very late on and sunderland fans roaring at the full-time whistle with booze to show david moyes what has happened what has he done to his club david moyes always did i always saw Really good manager at Everton, and it has all gone downhill since he has left. Man United sacking Real, Real Sociedad sacking as well. That was even, I feel like it did even worse there. And now Sunderland, it, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he has, if he would have resigned by the end of the week. I'm going to be honest with you there. Sunderland down, they, 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 there needs to be a miracle for them to do well next season. I'm going to be honest there. But Josh King nearly fired an incredible, incredible goal. He took an absolute punter in the first half, hit the bar, then off the post, and like the luck we have have had with the rest of the season, it's not ended up in the back of the net, and we have once again hit the woodwork for about the 18th time this season. Not the most in the Premier League anymore. Tottenham have hit the woodwork more. But it just shows our really un unlucky work we have there. But Jermaine Defoe had a lot of opportunities to take his Sunderland side in the lead. But he couldn't end his goal drought. And once again, it really does look doom and gloom for Sunderland. Do you think Jermaine Defoe will move clubs at the end of the season? Personally, I do. Championship football isn't for where he should be. Will he come to the Vitality Stadium? Will he extend his footballing career? Back of the vitality, will he restore it and potentially help out the attack and threat for the Bournemouth side in the next season? Put it down in the comments down below. Did you think it would end in 1 0? And what are your thoughts on the game? I've been Matt from SPTV. If you want to watch more full flow content, subscribe down to the channel. I've been Matt, and I'm out.